Hey, thank you for joining me today. I hope this uh, video finds you in good fortune. If you like to buy the bottom, sell the top, make money in the middle, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, watch the video to the end, hit the bell icon for notifications, share it, all that kind of good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Uh, today's coin of the day is AMP. Um, AMP, their goal is to, the AMP token, their goal is to make uh, payments faster and uh, cheaper. So it's a payment system is what it is. Uh, AMP, AMP provides assets like Dash, Link, all these kind of assets here. You got uh, Dogecoin, um, you know, Bitcoin, all this kind of stuff. The BAT token. Uh, let's see, provides assets like all this with instant verifiable assurance for any real world application. Uh, you can stake your AMP. They have an interesting staking mechanism. Um, AMP Smart Contracts offers a variety of built-in incentives, uh, incentive models. So uh, this is stuff is good to look in. I encourage you to get on here and look at this if you're interested in this token. I actually see this token as I'm. I think I'm going to buy. You know, normally on my coin of the day, I pick up like forty to a hundred dollars worth of uh, the currency. Um, I think I'm going to pick up more. Actually, I have uh, picked up more AMP than uh, that because I, I actually see this being picked up by other larger companies and uh, being used by other larger companies. I think this is a good project. Um, we're about 6.5 cents right now, 6.6 .6 cents, something like that. And I see this going to, you know, maybe 25 cents or something like that. So. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to pick up a little bit more, but uh, you can get on here and read about it. Uh, anyway, it's uh, collateral, collateral as a service. AMP collateralizes. Um, collateralization is tested, audited, and freely available for anyone to use. So you can actually build. Um, you can actually build on their uh, protocol. Um, everything is open source. Uh, it's non-inflationary. Uh, it has a fixed supply. Um, so fixed supply is it's definitely a plus in my book. That you know when you have uh, something open-ended like like Ethereum, for example, you know everybody's big on ETH. You know, hey, ETH is probably the new internet. Who knows? But um, there's no cap to it. So there's a, there's a number of projects that have no cap to it. And uh, it just doesn't make sense to me to um, trade one fiat currency for an open-ended second fiat currency, which um, which in many cases we're actually doing, which doesn't make sense. Um, and it's all built on the um, Flex network. Let's see. These are some of their partners. Uh, so you see they have a, quite a few partners or in a number of exchanges. Um, they're also on Binance. You can buy this on you can buy AMP on Binance. I believe they were just listed on Binance, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this will give you a little bit of inf information um, on uh, overview on the AMP uh, token. Um, let's look at the charts real quick. We've actually had quite a rally uh, from down here on the um, 0 .001. A fraction of a penny. We're up to 6.6 .6 cents. Um, we've had a little uh, taking profit. This is on a weekly chart, and um, this is on a weekly chart. Uh, you see what we did here was we uh, we broke out of our resistance on our relative strength, um, which is a good sign. Um, that usually a sign we're going up. Now this is weekly, and we're overbought on the daily. You know, we have been going up, right? So, and we're having a pullback right now here on a relative strength on our daily uh, chart. So, is right this second a time, a good time to get in? Mm, maybe, yes, maybe no. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh, we might have a little pullback, and then I think we're going to take back off. I don't think the pull, I think the pullback is going to be, uh, it's not going to, you know, it's going to be short lived. So and this is on our hourly chart. I said daily, but this is on our hourly chart. And then we have our daily. We're up here in the overbought region. Like I said, we've had a pullback here. Um, but we are, you know, I think we're going to, we're going to probably come back and then take off 
from here. So this is something I'm keeping an eye on. I already have some. I might pick some more up. And then, like I said, we have a lot of headroom to go. We've broke out of our relative strength on our weekly chart. Um, and I think we'll quite possibly move up from there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And uh, y'all are beautiful. I'll see you next time.